Hello there, let's talk about the Wisecam error code 19, how you can fix it. Here I have the Wisecam version 2, I also have Wisecam version 3, and the Wisecam pen, right? That happens with any Wise cameras, I had that error before, and I know how to fix it, okay? I know they're looking for the information on the internet everywhere how to fix this error, but here I'm gonna show you step by step what you can check to make sure your camera is going to good, is going to work good, okay? So, the first thing that you have to check is the communication between your camera, the router, and the internet. As you can see here, I have this LED, it's a blue stat LED, which shows that your camera is connecting to the router and he can communicate with the internet and reach the WISE servers. That's important. The same thing with the WISE Cam version 3 or WISE Cam Pen or whatever WISE you have there. So let's check something here on the WISE app. As you can see, the camera is working, okay, with the app. And then I need to check here on the settings and device info how is the communication between the camera and the router? As you can see here, I have three dots, which means it's a good communication, okay, a good one. If you have just like one dot, it's not good enough. You need to reach at least two dots here to make your camera work better, okay? What you have to do to improve this, you just need to approach your camera to your router or vice versa, right? The router, you need to approach to your camera. Then you get a better signal. You also need at, at least to remove obstacle that are closer, close to the camera. Let's say the camera has a lot of object around. You just need to move them like this, okay? Just an example here, but you get the point, okay? So the router is the same thing. Move the router from different positions until you get the signal better hit. Don't work with one signal only, one dot here. And also you need to check your signal here. Uh, my, for example, my Wi-Fi signal is max-24. That's the name of my signal. It's a 2.4 gigahertz network. Uh, the camera doesn't work with five gigahertz. Be aware of that. I know you, if your camera is already connecting to the app, that's because you're using the 2.4, but just to make things clear, you need to know that's a 2.4 gigahertz signal. Let me show you here, for example, when I go to my camera and I remove the camera. So uh, let's come back here, delete the device, and I'm going to add it again. So here I have the wise cam version 3, it's off right now, but I'm going to add the wise cam version 2 again. So I come here to add device, cameras, and here in wise cam, I'm going to add the wise cam version 2. But first I need to put the camera on the setup state, so I just come here on the bottom of the camera and press this button. Ready to connect. Okay, then I hear this message, ready to connect. And I just put the camera back here in its place. And here I just ready go to, to wise cam. I see the yellow LED blinking there. I click next. I heard ready to connect, click here. Ready. Next, and as you can see here, I have the signal, max-24, which is my 2.4 signal for, for the internet, right? And here I have my password. As you can see, there's the information here, 5 gigahertz doesn't work, right? If I try to use a different Wi-Fi here, you see that I have my Wi-Fi and I have different ones here, right? I have max-24, for example, and I have another one here, max 5G, that's the one, right? So this doesn't work. My router has two signals, max-25, uh, max-5G and max-24. I named the signal the way so I know that max-24 is the one to go with my cameras, right? Just to make clear that I'm using this signal here. The camera is talking, ready to connect, ready to connect. So let's connect here using the QR code, just need to scan it. QR code scanned, please wait. So here we go, it's scanned. Just click here that I heard the QR code scanned. Click next and I'm connecting, okay? I'm just following the step here so you can see how it works. I know that you probably already done that 
but just to understand better that I need to connect to a 2.4 signal and it needs to be a good signal. See here, the camera is working. Let me just put the name here again. Uh, Wise 2, that's the one, Wise 2. Okay, continue and I'm gonna just click here and skip the steps to go to the, to the end part, the finish. Here we go, okay, skip, finish. Just to have the camera back working. So pretty good, working. Again, pretty quick here, go to device info. I see here the information, the network I'm connected to and the signal strength, that's very good, okay? Other than that, you can check cables, connection, whatever you have to check here, but this physical connection, you know, uh, it, it's working already, right? It's connected, you have the power, you have the camera working. Usually it's not that, that thing, right? You have a lot of information there. Oh, check your cable, check this and that. Oh, of course, it's a valid information you need to check, but as long as you have this working, you're good to go. And then something that you can also do when it's not working at all. If you have the good signal here, the signal strength is good, but still not working, you can uh, install the firmware again in the camera, meaning reflashing the camera, okay? So to do that, you need just an SD card and an SD card adapter, just like the one that I have here. And I'm going to power off my camera. So I'm gonna just connect the cable here and I'm going to remove the card from the camera. So here I have it, the card, that micro SD card, it's just right here. Let me just remove it. Here we go. Put the camera back here and I'm going to insert the card here in this adapter. And here I'm going to connect to my computer. I have a micro SD card reader here or SD card reader with the adapter I can read it. So I'm going to take a look here on my computer and Okay, I need to scan and fix the problem with the, the card. Here we go, when I put it there, Windows say that I need to repair. Repair drive, okay. Make sure your drive is good. Okay, that's the idea. So I'm just scanning and repairing my card. Okay, the card's ready to be used. And here we go, okay. So removable disk is here. Let me just format it. Here we go, formatting the card with FAT32, that's the standard that Windows is going to format the card. And I'm ready to go. Just double check here that I have the card, removable disk, I have nothing on the card right now. And then I'm gonna come here to Google and type Wisecam version two firmware. And the first link here, release notes in firmware, Wise. I find this release notes in firmware, Go down here to white firmware and look for cameras. Here you're gonna look for your camera. You have the version two, Wisecam Pan version two. That's not the one that I'm looking for. I'm looking for this Wisecam version two firmware, okay? So I click here and I have the firmware for the camera. Make sure you're getting the correct one. Let me just show you here that I can check the, mo the model here. In this case, Wisecam v2 okay so that's the one to go double check yours and here i come and i see different ones i'm gonna get the latest one just click here wait for it to download here have the download i'm gonna open it up and extract unzip it right let's just click click here extract here we go okay and then i have this folder got into the folder and here I'm gonna to rename it. Right click, rename. And here I'm gonna delete everything here and leave just demo.bin. That's the one, okay? Rename it away, drag and drop here to your removable disk. And right now it's copying it to the card. Just wait for it to finish. Check here, that's in the card, good to go. Right click, eject, okay, and then come back here to my card. Now I have it, okay, here are my card. Just remove from the adapter and put back into the camera. So here we go, 
that's the way you put the card here, okay, facing the way and push it, good to go. Now this part is important, okay, you're gonna have this button here, you're gonna press it and then you're gonna power the camera. Hold this button for three seconds, three to five seconds and let it go. And then you're gonna see that the camera is going to change the LED uh, to different colors, okay, the LED here to different colors and going to flash, to reflash the firmware here on, into your camera. Then you're good to go. That takes uh, like two or three minutes to reflash, so be patient, right? So the first thing that I do usually is remove the brick from here, the power brick, connect here to the camera, so I have better control how to power the camera, all right? Because I need to do this, I need to come here and hold the button. At the same time, I need to power the camera. If you have somebody to help, it's better. <laughs> I'm just click here. Okay, I'm clicking it. And now, okay, just to show you, I'm clicking here, the button. Let me do it again. Oh, oops. Here we go. Click and hold. And then put it here. And let me just show you here. Went to blue and then I let it go. Okay. As soon as it goes to blue, I let it go. And then you need to wait. You're gonna hear the camera clicking, some click on the camera. Like well, internal relay clicking. And the camera is going to restart and change the color there. And just a waiting game now. You need to be patient to wait. Okay guys, so the reflashing is done and now I need to connect my camera again. So let me just press the button here, the bottom of the camera, one more time. Ready to connect. Okay, got the message, ready to connect. Put the camera back here in place. Here we go, it's blinking there. Then again, come here to my app, add device, Select the camera, wise cam. Ready to connect. Next, I heard the message ready to connect. Next again, I have my Wi-Fi here. The QR code. Let's ready just the connect. camera read the QR code. QR code scanned. Please wait. Okay. I heard the message. QR code scanned. Click next. And just wait for the camera to connect again. So basically what I'm doing here is Reflect, reflashing the camera. The new firmware you see here, it's blinking fast setup blue. Completed. And setup completed. So we are good to go. So here, wise to continue. Again, here, just click to finish the steps. And guys, that's the way to go. Reflashing your camera solves the problem with this error code 90, okay? That's the last step that you can take, but it works. First check if your router is too far from the camera, and then you can check the signal here as I showed you before, but most of the time, if you have those things good and it's still not working, okay? This train here is now is good, but still not working, then just reflash your camera and it's going to work, okay? So I hope this helps and please, if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, <laughs> leave your thumbs up and your comments and I see you in the next one.